Story One Rhode Island Teachers Union has asked a judge to prevent in person learning from starting in their district on Monday. 12 News has confirmed the Bristol Warren Education Association filed a lawsuit against the district in Providence Superior Court. All right, so there is a court hearing expected to be held later today, and Alexandra Leslie is joining us now with more on what the Teachers Union is arguing. Alex? Well, the lawsuit claims that schools in the district have not been properly inspected and that school employees will, quote, suffer irreparable harm if they are forced to come back to work. Now, this comes after Bristol Warren scaled back its reopening plans last night, but the district said it will still open four schools in person on Monday. A spokesperson for the National Education Association Rhode Island says that the walkthroughs state officials are doing are nowhere near thorough enough to guarantee that schools are safe and have good enough air quality. The state law requires inspections by the Department of Health and by the fire marshal and by the building inspector and by the Department of Labor and Training. Why people are not screaming about this as much as I am uh, is beyond me. Now, a Department of Health spokesperson tells 12 News that these, uh, the statute that Walsh is referring to there does not mention on-site inspections. They also note the Department of Health does dozens of walkthroughs a year. We've reached out to the Bristol Warren superintendent for comments. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.